Now we can stop the bombs! We're dead in the water. Good morning guys. Today we gotta get out the old screen here that we fabricated the last time we did trenching. We need to filter and clean some dirt. The goal or the idea is here is to bury this four inch pipe over here that is solid. It doesn't have any holes in it. We want good uh, clean dirt on top of that and we need to get sections of it buried or we won't be able to reach it later with the backhoe. Of course this part is done by hand with the shovel. But once we get a few inches on top of the pipe, we can come in with the backhoe without going over our first two trenches. We can reach with the, the arm and bury, uh, bury what we can. Luckily, it's not that much trenching that we need to have clean dirt for. Like last time, it was like 140 feet plus or whatever. We probably got like 30 feet of pipe cover with good dirt, so it shouldn't take long. think of this uh, here this here torture device now that we used it on two projects it works it does I, don't, I think we need to come up with something better <laughs> this thing is the devil so we want to give a shout out to a friend of ours um, met him on our channel his name is Bobby he has his own YouTube channel called Bobby's solar homestead and he reached out to us recently asking if he could give us a shout out and which i thought was awesome and great um, to help our channel grow so bobby's main focus on his channel is about solar he goes over all sorts of little trinkets and gadgets of stuff that has to do with solar if you're interested in that i've watched a few of his videos and they're pretty cool one of them is about how he builds these poles that are for security around his property he'll put like cameras on them or uh, motion sensors to turn on a light or to turn on the camera and they're completely isolated and ran off of their own little solar panel which is pretty neat my favorite thing was the one about his golf cart that he took the old battery out put a lithium battery in and put a solar panel on the thing and it just charges itself all the time so you never have to plug the thing in and I thought, you know, if I ever come across a golf cart, I know what to do with it now. <laughs> That'd be great around, around our place. So anyway, shout out to Bobby. Check him out. Search Bobby's Solar Homestead. Go over there, watch some of his videos. You might find, I think you'll find them pretty interesting and helpful, especially if you're into solar. And uh, make sure you comment. Leave a comment. Say a boulder life sent me. All right. Now let's bury this thing.
Watermelon. Oh, it's yummy, you said? Yeah. You tried it? Mmm. Slice of watermelon for my break. This puts a big smile on my face. See, hun? Yes. Hilarious. Do you, do you see? We got a big old smile. I'm excited. Dad, I'm gonna eat until there's no red left. Not even some pink. Nothing like a little watermelon in our tiny little trailer. All six of us. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Just checking my weld here on the bucket. I don't see any cracks. As terrible of a weld job as it was, it appears to have held up to the beating that it has taken so far. Let's see what surprises this next trench holds. Hopefully nothing too surprising. editing and doing some work so there's not much for me to do to help while he just digs this trench so he is moving along it looks like there's nothing too giant of boulders so far so that always makes the work go faster if it keeps going like this he could probably get it done by the end of the day
there she be. All dug up. All I gotta do is get in there with the shovel and kinda fine tune it a little. Knock down the high spots. Put that stuff in the low spots kind of thing. So, that trench took basically a day's worth of work. We started that, started digging this yesterday, uh, late, late, late yesterday. And it's now late afternoon the next day, and it's done. So, wasn't too hard for out here. If you were to compare this with most, most trenches, it's probably considered hard, but not compared to our second trench that we did. Only a few small boulders. There's a couple right over there. Not too bad. I'm worried though about the last trench here. I am a little worried that it's gonna be very similar to the this pipe, this trench here. You guys remember that one? We were pulling out boulder after boulder and the last trench, here's the corner of it, goes right here. And I remember this area being rocky when we uh, were taking out the trees. I'll find out here real soon. The first half probably is okay. Judging by this other one we did, the first half of it was okay and the last half of it was not okay. <laughs> anyway. We'll see what surprises lie beneath us. I'm out. I think I could just throw this over by the other one. Oh, oh yeah. It's like over there. Oh, a little to the right. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> What? Oh, oh the line? Yep. Yeah. You did pretty good. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're a pretty painter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Put a kink in my neck. Watch where you're going.
Well, it's harder. My head or that bucket? We are ready to start trench number four. Trench number three went so good yesterday. I was just so excited and I just want trench number four to be the same. But we're nervous that it's not going to be. So crossing fingers, hoping and praying that this can go smoothly and we can get this trenching finished. It happened again. I lost a two. So far on trench number four, it has been nothing but surprises. Maybe they're not surprises. Nothing but trouble. Right at the beginning of the trench, I'm hitting like solid rock. Ugh. I knew this was going to be, or at least I had a feeling this was going to be a, a rough spot. All this right here is just nasty, solid rock. <laughs> Holy cow. That doesn't look good. It's got a... Ooh. Gives you an idea how hard I've been pulling on this stuff and it's not even hardly breaking up. Yeah, it's been nothing but rock after rock after rock. There's some laying there. I cleared a bunch out right there because I was I moved the backhoe to the back here to try to get another angle at this. And it's only helped a little. So, I need a pin and a new tooth. We're dead in the water. Got some new teeth. <laughs> you been to the dentist? Look at that. Here's the old one. There's a new one. Oh man, that's crazy looking. Right? Look how much, that's like a uh, inch and a quarter longer. So, got four of these, right? Because you can't just have a snaggle tooth <laughs> in the bucket. I'm a little worried that, because it's so long, I'm worried of them snapping off or uh, snapping in half, right? Right. But it's tempered steel. I expressed my worry about it breaking, you know, since this thing broke right here. Okay. Uh, anyway, if something happens, Napa's got my back, so.
Pretty aggressive looking, huh? Uh, yep. The black claw. <laughs> the claw! <laughs> Hopefully you can stop the claw! <laughs> All right. I still think it looks like a fake nail job. It is a fake, uh, real nail job. Oh, okay. It's better work. I have my doubts, but just because they're so long, I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll have to find out right now. Thank you. 